la blessed people of the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Bara, Jehovah Eli, Jehovah Ori, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Goel, Jehovah Hoshea, Jehovah Hashofet, Jehovah Hamelech, he has spoken with me, the mighty God of Israel, blessed people. God the Father Almighty has spoken with me in a very, very tremendous way just a few minutes ago. The Lord has taken me to Israel again. The Lord has again this afternoon, just a few minutes ago, took me to Israel and he put me there. And then all of a sudden, the war broke out. The sirens began to ring. The missiles are coming. And then I had to start rushing people, asking, where are the bankers? There was a big panic. Everybody's running. They don't even know where the bankers are. Then they are told, no, but on every floor, on each floor there is a banker. They enter, enter by that floor. You should have a banker and whatever, but people could not identify. So they were running. They were running from the floor. They were running all over the streets. They do not know where the bankers are. Again, the Lord God the Father, Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Sori, Jehovah Yasha, Jehovah Kabodi, Jehovah Kana, Jehovah Eli, Chezek, Mephalti, Mashi, Miskabi, he has spoken with me, blessed people, in a very, very severe conversation that has a very serious consequence to the church. The Lord Almighty, just a few minutes ago, took me to Israel, and then there was running, running, because the siren went off, but the missiles are coming, everybody run. The missiles from Iran are coming, everybody run now. And they were saying, you have only a few seconds to enter your bunker. Then I was trying to get people off the streets, and I was also running for myself in there. The Lord put me in there to run also with them. Asking, where is the bunker? Where are bunkers? Where are bunkers? People are running. And they were saying that in, on every floor there is supposed to be a room that is a bunker on every floor, but people are confused. So they are running from the top, they are trying to go downstairs, knowing that, the, of course, there are bunkers under every building, but they were running instead of entering the bunkers that are in, within the floors. Like if you have the 10th floor, there is a bunker. There's one room which is always prepared there, which is bomb-proof and everything, bunker. So they were running, and I was running with them, and I saw people, I saw a lot of people lined up. I saw a lot of distress, a lot of people lined up. They were lining up in the streets, they are, as though, and some of them are even foreigners, they are foreigners. I saw a lot of foreigners lining up, I think trying to run away, because they did not have bankers, they did not have where to run to and hide. So a lot of foreigners uh, lined up, Africans, what, lined up, they were trying to, they were desperate, they are in the streets, they are locked up there, they are rather caught up there, and they have nowhere to go to. But for the children of Jacob, for the house of Jacob, I told them, run, run and enter your bankers, no, 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 in less than five seconds, the measles are coming. They could be chemical bombs and the biological weapons, run! And so people were running all over the country. Health has kept it was chaotic, unbelievable. I have never seen anything like this. This is unbelievable distress that is about to happen. And they were running, and they were saying, they were, they were, they were being told, look, on every floor, there is a room that is a bunker. You can enter there. But people did not know, so they were trying to run to get to downstairs, to the main bunker, the bomb shelter downstairs. And then I ran with them to check the bankers. I was running to check the bankers. As I ran with them, we were going down the stairs very fast. Boom, 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 going down the stairs. When we entered the bunker, then I see some of the, uh, the children of Jacob that I know. 
some of the people I know, I saw them there, and then they were all sleeping on chairs. They were crowded there, some were sleeping on the floor, some were sleeping on chairs, the siren has gone off, and the bomb is coming. And then what shocked me is when I looked just a little bit, that is the underground bunker now, where people are full there. Some are sleeping on the floor, some are sleeping on chairs, and the Lord shows me the children of Jacob, some whom I know, whom I know very well. And then, when they are under the bunkers, in the bunkers, I supervise that bunker only to find that there is a part which is actually open into the sky. I said, how oh, can you do this? The chemical bomb is coming. The biological weapons are coming. It will kill all people. There is a path towards the right, the extreme end, which is open into the sky, into the space. I said, but where are the ventilations and the filters I told you to put here? You're going to die. It's going to kill all the house of Jacob. Chaos. People are running. <laughs> Crying, trying to grab a child and run. And wife, grab children, run. Whatever child you grab, you run with. The siren is on. The bombs are coming from all directions. A very serious distress is about to break out, blessed people. The Lord has just taken me a few minutes ago to Israel to show me a moment of distress when finally Israel is attacked. And I'm running there. And at one point, I'm telling them that this is what I meant when I came. I have come back. I have returned. I was telling them, I have come back. I have come back to tell you that this is what I meant when I first came and told you to prepare the bankers, prepare medication, prepare the foods, show them and begin national drills. At one point, I was telling them that. But it's a tremendous hour of distress as if I had gone back there. And if I have gone back there, in that attack and distress, that probably also means uh, the, the, the church may have been taken or what? Because I was talking then that I've returned, I've come back, I've come back here. You are saying, oh, you came, you came back, then let's organize for your security, let's organize for your vehicles. I said, no, let's run, the siren is on. They were talking to me, I said, I've come back. Eh? Why? Why is the Lord making me say, I have come back? I have come back to tell you that this is what I meant. And they're trying to do other things. I said, no, let us run. Run, everybody, enter the, enter the bunker. The siren is on your five seconds. Running with them, to, trying to push everybody into the bunkers. But then, the bunkers are open. The bunkers are open. There is air. The, 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 the connected to the sky. To the space. I said, why? Why did you do this? It will wipe out the house of Jacob. Running, running, everybody running. I said, no, oh, there are bunkers on every floor. Try to look for one room there. One room there is supposed to be a bunker. But people did not know where the bunkers are, the bomb shelters are. So they were running, trying to all go downstairs. When I get to the underground, I'm running woo, 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 with them. When I get there, I see the people I know. I see the children of Jacob I know. I see them seated on chairs and falling asleep there, dozing with their eyes, you know, and tired. Small chairs. Others sleeping on the floor. No food, no water down there. They were not prepared. The whole country, chaos, foreigners are trying to run away from Israel. Very chaotic. Heavy distress, maximum distress, extreme distress. The whole nation at the threat of being wiped out. Right now, something terrible is about to happen to Israel. And I don't know why the Lord kept telling, uh, made me tell them, I have come back. Yes, that's why I first came. Remember when I first came to Jerusalem and warned you that I have now come back. I was telling them, I've come back. Oh, man, let's, uh, let's do this. I said, don't do that. Just run, run to the bunkers. I, I said, I have come back. That's why I've come back. So I wonder why the Lord made me say, I have come back. Could it be that that is after the rapture also? 
But there is a war that's about to break out in Israel. Very severe, very unbelievable war, blessed people. An unbelievable distress is about to shake, to shake the nation of Israel, to shake them to the core. Unbelievable distress is about to enter the land of Israel, blessed people. This is an unbelievable moment for the nation of Israel. This is a very shocking moment, blessed people. The Lord Almighty, just a few minutes ago, He has taken me to Israel, blessed people. And there was unbelievable distress in Israel. Shocking distress in Israel. And reasons were coming, sirens are on, people are running, people do not even know where the bankers are. A very tragic moment, blessed people. Very, very tragic moment for Israel. A very shocking time is about to befall Israel, blessed people. Maximum distress. Horrific distress. The nation of Israel is about to be shaken in the most difficult manner, blessed people. The Bible says, in the book of Hosea chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, it says in verse 15, I will return to my lair, I will return to my shelter, I will return to the pavilion of my glory, to my parlor, the parlor of my glory, until they have borne their guilt and seek my face. In their misery, they will seek me honestly. In their tribulation, they will seek me honestly. In their great tribulation, they will seek me honestly. These are the words the Messiah said. When the Messiah said, now never mind, I will now go. You will not see me again until you say, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Until you pass through Daniel's 70th week. Until you pass through Daniel chapter 9 verse 27. Until you pass through the great tribulation. And then in that tribulation, you will seek me. Blessed people, I have seen a tremendous distress. These wars, this entire situation, global distress, situation around Israel that you see on your running on your TVs right now, is very serious for the coming of the Messiah. Any moment, anything can happen to the church. Because now, in this conversation whereby the Lord has just taken me to Israel, just this afternoon, a few minutes ago, and I'm telling them to run, the sirens are on, the bombs are coming. This is serious. Why was I telling them, I have come back. I have come back to let you know that this is what I meant when I first came to Jerusalem and won the leaders. I have now come back. Why is the Lord telling me to say to them that I have come back? Why is the Lord showing me that I have gone back? I have gone back to Israel. Even the team, even the team that are around me, working with me, are a different set of people. They are not the first people. So it's a different going there also. Why is there so much distress like that? And I'm saying I have come back. And I know very well that the only time I come back there must be when the church is taken away. Has been taken away. Well, now the Lord focuses us on the agenda of Israel. But it's very, very shocking now that it should be disturbing to you that the Lord is now talking about Israel, 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 and the prophecies of my word have placed Israel and the whole world on the brink of a major, major war on Israel, in Israel, better people. So the Lord is warning that let everybody... That is why it received Jesus and be born again. Time is over. I know the Lord has promised you healing services, creepers walking, but remember the sovereignty of God. Nobody knows the day or the hour. 
It is the imminency of his return. So you cannot attach any prophecy to that return. You cannot say, no, he has said there will be Meningai 7, which will be more massive than Meningai 6. So the rapture must be after that if it's going to come at all in this uh, year or whatever, in the, in the nearest time. Not at all. God is sovereign. He can change anything at his will. That is the sovereignty he enjoys. And the imminency of his return ensures that the coming of the Messiah is not attached to any prophecy at all. So, those who are wise, all you can do now is prepare. Just repent and prepare. But it should be disturbing to you that the Lord is now speaking about Israel and the prophets of God have now placed Israel on the global news nonstop. And the greatest war I went in June to warn the leaders thereabout is now about to happen. The biggest war with Iran that I went to warn the leaders of Israel, members of parliament, different leaders of different cadres that came to meet me at that boardroom. All of them, the meetings we had in the, in the Knesset, all of them, I warned them that there is a big war coming with Iran. And this is what the Lord of hosts says, prepare the nation for that war. It will look like this. And for you to win that war, this is what you need to do. This is what Hashem, the God of Israel, says. After giving them that instruction, then left. It is very shocking that that war is now about to happen in the news. And the Lord has taken me to Israel and showed me a great distress two minutes ago. People are running that that war has broken out. What does that mean to the church? And why does the Lord in the second part of that dream tell me, why does he tell me to tell them that I have come back? I have now come back. Remember I first came to warn you about this. I have now come back. Why come back? The Messiah is coming. Those who are wise prepare. Those who have trophies, the creepers, the blind, the deaf, like Kenya, the mute, HIV healed, the cloud of God, this generation, you have all this, use that to enter, to strengthen your voice, to strengthen your faith, and strengthen your voice as you preach, as you evangelize. To strengthen your message. Time is over. The Lord is now focusing his servants on Israel. Again, just a few minutes ago, the Lord Almighty has taken me to Israel, and then I saw the most Terrible distress strike that country. I saw foreigners lined up. Foreigners lined up. They want to get away. They want to run away. I think they were lining up for buses, lining up for aircraft. Air, there were no planes. It was distress. And we were walking among them. It was chaos. Very, very chaotic in the streets. Everybody was in the streets. It was chaotic now. People are confused and very worried and distressed. Then the siren goes off. That the measle is coming. So I tried to get the children of Jacob the bankers. I said, run, run now, enter the bankers now. This is what I meant. And they did not know where the bankers are. That is shameful. They were running out of skeleton direction. And when you told me that way, that way, this way, this way, this way, go this way, there's a banker, go this way. They were confused, they were cows. The Messiah is coming. Those who are wise, prepare and be holy. And remember, without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. You can see how the Lord is engaging us now on the matter of Israel. Those who are wise, let them repent and receive Christ and be holy. The King is coming. Thank you.